In this video, we're going to go through a short example of how to do a pointed polygon analysis in QGIS using the Travel Time plugin. So pointed polygon essentially is all about filtering points based on those that are inside or outside of a polygon. And in this example, we're going to use as our points this layer of employees around the UK. And we're going to use a public transport isochrone as our polygon. So we've already got our points. To create our public transport isochrone, we go up to our time map tool here. We want public transport. We're going to do a 90 minute travel time, leaving at 9 a.m. And then we're just going to put our office postcode in here. And then we click run. So this is going to create a polygon that represents where you can get to in 90 minutes by public transport, setting off from this address at 9 a.m. So this has been added into the map, but let's just make it a little bit more visible. So this blue area is our polygon showing that 90 minute public transport travel time. To do the point in polygon, we're going to use the clip tool. So we search for that in the processing toolbox. The input layer is our employees, so our points. The overlay layer is the polygon, which is this output that we just created. When we then hit run, we get this new clipped layer added to the project. And this is all of the points that fall within that public transport polygon that we created. Now that's a kind of two step process. First of all, creating the catchment area and then using that to filter the locations. But if it's actually just those filtered locations that we want in the first place, there's a quicker way of doing this using one of the other travel time tools. So if we again start with our layer of employees, rather than creating um, an isochrone, we're going to use this quick time filter tool. So if we open this up, we're going to use exactly the same parameters. So public transport, 90 minutes, leaving at 9 a.m., the same address, and then we hit run. Now what this does is, rather than creating a polygon this time, it creates a new layer of points. And these points are marked as reachable or unreachable based on that 90 minute public transport travel time that we set. And if we compare this to the set of clipped points, you can see all the points that are marked as reachable are the exact same points that we got from that point in polygon where we filtered our points using the public transport polygon. So we've got exactly the same output. But there's actually a benefit here because we now know that all of these points are reachable. But if we then open up the attribute table of this new output, not only do we get each um, point marked as reachable or unreachable, a one or a zero, for any that are reachable, we also get here the exact travel time in seconds for each of those reachable locations. So this is the public transport journey time to each of these individual employees. So it's a way of doing a point in Polygon, but actually getting much richer data as well as just inside or outside of the Polygon. 